Uh, they did not have it. <laughs> but it's okay, guys. I'm going to be okay. I'm going to be circle right here guys <laughs> I'm trying to get used to that because I keep doing like this you know so um guys it is another vlog day I told you guys I was going to be bringing these vlogs okay so y'all can get a better sense of feel okay of the biz fam loyal squad <laughs> okay all right guys so your girl is up and at them I'm finally dressed um I did what I can. I moisturized my face, did all my hygiene stuff, everything I need to do. Okay, and got one little bump right there. I think I'm fairly moisturized. I don't know. I try to do it every day. I wasn't doing it every day like I should at one point. So, anywho, got on my get in line shirt, guys. I'm sweating. Ooh. And um, this is what I got on. Tomboyish look, I know. You're going to see your girl in a dress one day. You're going to catch me in a dress one day. I'm going to share that with you guys, I mean, is what I'm saying. Okay, so, because uh, I am super tomboyish, I promise you. <laughs> I love my, you know, sports clothes, because I that's just how I've been all my life. I have worn a dress, though. It's been a long while. Okay, so guys, I'm in the kitchen, but I'm about to get up out of here. Your girl finna make a move. Y'all come on with me. I don't know how long this vlog gonna be. Hopefully not too long. Heading out. Okay, so it's another warm, kind of almost hot day. <laughs> I think it's gonna heat on up a little bit more. I think it's supposed to get into like the 90s, like 91, 92. Okay, but I'm staying hydrated, guys. Y'all already know. Your girl got a water, okay? I ain't playing. Y'all make sure y'all hit that hydration station if you haven't. And get hydrated. Y'all know I'm always going to say that, okay? Because I hope it can help people to think and say, you know what? I need to get my water on for real, for real, you know? So, the more you do it, the more results you'll see. Better results. Okay, I got to roll my windows down. I don't have one of them fancy cars and all of that. Maybe one day. Okay, so I have an older car. I need to turn off this here bill. I just had realized in my last vlog that the doggone uh, alarm smoke detector was going off the whole time. I was like, wait a minute. I didn't, I didn't even address it. But anyway, it's over. That's when Nana was, uh, Queen Nana was cooking on the stove. Thought she was burning the house down. But anyway, guys, I'm about to put some oil in my car. Okay. So that's what you're about to do. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a kind of a mechanic, guys. You know, you know, I do a little something. I make sure I, can, I do my tune-ups, you know. Not the full tune-up because there's some stuff I still need to work on. Like, I can do the spark plugs and the wires. I guess you guys say, oh, that's good. That's right there. That's good enough. Pretty good. 
if you can do that, that's pretty much the tune up, right? <laughs> there are the spark plugs and the wires. And uh, I can do my oil change, okay? So, hope y'all can see me. It looks a little dark. Anywho, get my oil. Okay. It's time for an oil change. That's for a show show. Definitely time for an oil change. So, I don't pop the hood here. About to do a little little work, a little mechanic work here, y'all. Putting the oil in the car. <laughs> okay, so hold on. Guys, y'all can probably see me right here. See me. Doing a time lapse, so here we go. Hey guys got my tripod this time but got y'all on my car mount which i'm so happy to have all right guys so all i can say is take care of your car and it'll take care of you i don't give a cotton candy cotton candy how old it is cotton candy who cotton candy who usually, i don't know i usually say it like that cotton candy who how old how old the car is <laughs> okay usually i would share with you guys like um what I do to my car, like um, the kind of oil I was putting in, I only put in one because I had already checked it and initially, and it was not that low, so I only needed like a little bit more to, to top it off. And I usually do all my other checks to make sure everything is full, like my radiator fluid and my transmission fluid and my brake fluid. Okay, those are very important to check. A lot of females especially and some guys but a lot of females don't even know that that could be a problem because sometimes you be thinking your brakes might be going out on you and you be like dang i need some new brakes but sometimes you just need some brake fluid <laughs> okay so i'll go over that again eventually with you guys in some of these vlogs so you guys will eventually see me do some more car car stuff okay um you know what oh I was like, I need my lip gloss. I love shining these bad boys up. But this is not lip gloss. It's kind of glossy, but not really. It's just chapstick. I usually have my lips juicy and all that. Okay, so I don't have no eyeliner on. But anyway, it's hot, guys. It's hot. Okay, so, the girl getting ready to head out. And uh, I hope you guys are having a great day. Um, feeling positive. Got some good energy and vibes going. Turn that down. And uh, I'm about to get up out of here. I got to make a few errands. So, some places, you guys, I'm just going to run in and come out. And I'll let you guys know what I'm doing. And then we'll get to eating, okay? The eating part, yeah. That's what I'm waiting on. <laughs> All right, guys. So let me go ahead and make this move. And uh, I kind of, well, anyway, I'll see you guys in a minute.
guys if you guys were paying attention <laughs> i'm sure you guys saw the target sign so yes i am at target i have decided to come here first um because this is where i was going to get my food from and um so i'll share that with you guys when i come out it's hot out here. My phone was getting hot. I hope you guys enjoyed the little ride and everything. Um, so I'll be right back, guys, and I'll share with you guys in a minute what I have. Okay, I'm sharing with you guys where I'm at. So y'all can see where I was coming. Bam, right here. Y'all know what that sign is, right? So, I'm about to get me something up out of here, guys. This is what I decided to eat. Okay, so I hope you guys can hear me. I'm trying to talk loud. Okay, so, in a minute. <sighs> Alright, guys, it's hot. Alright, so guys, I am back in the car now. And I have with me what I'm going to eat. Which I'm not, I've never had before. And uh, I didn't say uh, to you guys the reason I came here for because I was going to come here last after I did the other errands and get me something to eat. But the reason I came on down here because the time is, you know, getting where it's going to be traffic down this way. And I do not want to be caught up in all of this traffic. Okay. Y'all know how that can be. Y'all can relate, right? Okay. So your girl had to do what she had to do first. So I have... Y'all saw where I said I'm at, uh, where I went, actually, Star Starbucks. And um, got me a, uh, they didn't have my tomato and basil. That's what I came down here for, my tomato and basil, delicious, and mozzarella, I think. Um, so, they did not have it. <laughs> but it's okay, guys. I'm going to be okay. I'm going <laughs> to get over it, okay? So, um, I have a... This is my first time trying this. Uh, I, I was trying to see what else they had that was, you know, kind of vegetarian-like. Um, this is, she said, a spinach and fatty or something. I guess spinach and feta cheese, something like that. I don't know. You know what? I'll give you guys more <laughs> deets up and share it with you guys when I get ready to eat it. So you guys can see what it looked like. But right now I won't be eating it. So I didn't want to get that first. But it's okay because I wasn't going to eat just yet. But I am going to go ahead and head to my next location. Alright. So I'm going to see you guys in a minute. And by the way guys. This area has everything. This is that area. You know that kind of area that get congested. You know with a whole lot of little shops here and there. You guys can see all of those right there. Over here. Rawls and Barnes and Nobles, Bed Bath and Beyond, and so forth. You guys can see that in Lowe's and whatnot. So then it's a it's a nice area, super nice area. And um they built this right here, this big building of homes, um, uh, I guess. Uh, it's really nice. This was not here. They did that. They really did that. I remember all the construction happening with that. They got a vitamin shop over here, you know. So it's a lot of shops in this area. You guys can't see the rest of them. But just wanted to share that right quick. Hey guys oh there's so many crazy things you be thinking about or you be noticing when you're out and everything out and about um <laughs> i didn't tell you guys that um when i was on my way to target um this guy 
or whoever it was, female, ran the stop sign. They just shot right through it. And, uh, I mean, they just kept going like it wasn't there. That's a no-no. Okay? See, that right there, that's just not good. But, you know, people don't follow the rules. That's just how it is sometimes, you know? Unfortunately, but it happens. So, I wanted to say to you guys, um, Comment if you have re ever ran a stop sign. Now, look, I know you don't want your name to be, like, showing that, you know, or, you know, showing that you ran a stop sign. But I'm saying, like, if it's not your real name on here, you know, you don't have your picture, I don't know. And then, at the same time, if you've, um, you know, you know you've uh, already been through the trial process and everything, you, you know, you, but you learned your lesson from it, comment then you just come in if you're comfortable or you know you know if you want to come in or not just put just put it like that okay <laughs> yeah guys so also come in if you guys who, who else besides me that's scared of sitting i'm claustrophobic so sitting between like a whole bunch of trucks is so i feel closed in okay i feel smothered Okay, so I was sitting between these trucks and I was going to record it showing that I was, you know, squeezed in like, ah, you know, oh my God, somebody help me or this stuff need to move so I can get out of here. I was losing my mind, freaking out. Yeah, I can't stand to be closed in, guys. Who else is claustrophobic or can't stand to be closed in, you know, in closed in spaces? So that's, that's crazy, right? That is super wild. So yeah, I can't stand that. Uh, yeah. Okay, so and another thing, guys. I know you guys can relate <laughs> when people are blowing, you know, their tools, you know, they're blowing the grass and, and you know, you know how they be cleaning the, uh, the street or the sidewalks or people be cutting their lawn, you know, and or they be blowing the leaves or blowing, just blowing and using the blower. And, and it's just out by, by the street, close by the street, and then it's just blowing all in your car. You know, I just washed my baby, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, dang. So it's like all that I had to roll my window up. I know you guys can't stand that. I know you can't. So comment below. That's that is super annoying to you. If that's super annoying to you, I'm sure it is. You know, why wouldn't that be? That's crazy. Like you got your window all down and all this here dirt and stuff when they clean in the streets, whatever it is that's blowing, you know, it's blowing all in your car. You know, getting all in your eyes, and you're like, oh man, shoot, I've had something to get in my eye. And I'm like, <laughs> Anywho, guys, I am at the Beauty Depot. I'm about to take my tail up in here because when I was doing my hair uh, today, my brush broke. It literally broke. Okay, like, all right. I'm like, okay, it just snapped in half. So I'm like, okay, so I got to get me a new brush. And I also want to get something else. So I'm going to go ahead and head in. And you guys haven't seen my, my hair in a while I shared my hair some time ago and uh, oh also guys I meant to tell y'all I shared my mechanic uh, work that I did when I did my oil change I shared that in a video as well I did a vlog on that at one point so you guys have to stroll to find that but I did do it but you guys will see it again eventually okay so I just want to share that right quick so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and go in here and get me a br hair brush and something else and I'm gonna be back to you guys in a minute Alright guys, so, got me two little things out of the beauty supply store, and guess what? One of them, I wasn't trying to get. But you know how that can be. <laughs> it's a nose ring, guys. I got another nose ring. This one is okay, but I wanted it a little bit smaller. And I got my hairbrush. So, I, it's, what I, else I was looking for was some carrot mayonnaise that I like the carrot mayonnaise I use on my hair I love it it really works on my hair but I couldn't find it I found some carrot stuff oil or whatever it's okay but it's not the kind that I had and I kind of want the one that I had because you know once you get used to what you had you kind of want that same thing back you know how that can be so anywho it's all good you know your girl came up out of there I'm about to uh, head up here in Aldi and so, uh, uh, yeah, I'm in Aldi, guys, so <laughs> about to go in here. This is the next stop, and so y'all can see that right there. Aldi. What's up, Aldi? <laughs> yeah, this is my store, so this is my stop right here, guys. Got to go in Aldi for some reason. Just got to go in Aldi. 
and um two uh well i wasn't quite done i kind of digressed but i was trying to say uh i wanted that carrot mayonnaise that i like to put on my hair but what i'm gonna do is uh, i'm gonna just continue to you because i want to use natural products i don't want anything with any perfume and harsh chemicals in them since you know i'm trying to keep it healthy and real so as possible so i'm going to be getting the uh i'm just going to be using the coconut oil organic um uh, unfiltered in the raw coconut oil on my hair so because i'm using the um apple cider vinegar too the mother the um unfiltered in the raw uh, apple cider vinegar as well i use that as well so but the the coconut oil will work for my hair as well so if you guys haven't tried it put it on there make your hair soft and everything and you you can wash your hair in that apple cider vinegar it does make your hair soft okay i hadn't done that before but when i finally tried it i, I did like it so um really just now really doing that but i use it for other you know purposes so you can use that stuff for a lot of you know different things you know on your body and stuff so it really works the um coconut oil works on your skin really well and stuff so it'll work on your hair just as good okay as well as the apple cider vinegar okay guys so your girl about to head up here in aldi and go ahead and do this here get this couple of things uh because i got to get ready to do some grocery shopping this time for a grocery haul y'all yes okay i got some things i want to be making for um moot bones and stuff like that so just some ideas you know that i put together so and also i got my challenge so i'll share that with you guys eventually so in a minute y'all right quick i don't know what kind of van this is in front of me <laughs> but it's like all of the windows are like blowed out or whatever and i'm talking about around the whole van looks like that black plastic bag covering i don't trust that i'm gonna have to let that van go a little bit ahead of me it's kind of going slow but i mean like what happened you know what i'm saying that's kind of creepy <laughs> you guys can't see it it's all the way around plastic bag all the way around okay so just wanted to share that i want you guys to see the other side over here it's on the side it's like plastic bags like, why would they be driving something like that? Like, I mean, like, what happened? Bless you. Bless you, bless you, bless you. All right, guys, so... Oh, my day is coming to an end as far as errands and whatnot. So, uh, your girl just got a couple of things out of Aldi. Nothing major. I feel like the color is changed. Do my color look... Wait a minute. Okay, that's better, I think. Look at the color. <laughs> it had turned another color there, guys. Okay, so <laughs> I'm like, no, it's, I was looking kind of orange or something. I don't know. But okay, guys, I didn't grab much. We need to go to the store. Like I said, this is just some quick stuff for tonight. So, like, I, we're going to have lasagna. No meat. Okay. And some vegetables and stuff for tonight. And I just got some almond milk and, you know, some pasta sauce and this is uh some simply nature organic um pasta sauce just that simple guys okay some bread and a box of cereal for them to have and stuff and some almond milk okay so nothing serious all right guys so i'm going to share with you guys what i was going to eat so we're going to do that but yeah okay so just a minute all right, guys, the twins, uh, they just got home a little bit ago. And there's Queen Nana. So hey. I want you guys to see them and say, hey, look at her little hair her cousin did hey. for her. Turn around. <laughs> that old rubber, rubber band. So you got to braid it up in the back, guys. Yes, you guys can see that. Mm -hmm. And uh, <laughs> them rubber bands up there. Y'all remember that in the days? <laughs> she got her little bow. I used to do the rubber band stuff. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> and there go Queen Amy. Hey guys! <laughs> she got on some little earrings that I had mm -hmm. gave her. Not, Queen Nana had on some too that I gave her, but she took hers out. Mm -hmm. But they got their ears pierced, so they have they wear studs, but they just been switching out. Yeah. And I gave her these little earrings. Look, they got little choices they can pick mm -hmm. from. <laughs> and she got her hair. Her cousin did her hair as well. She gave her mm -hmm. a big braid all the way around. I guess you guys can see that it's kind of dark. Halo. Stand over here. Yeah, a halo. That's right. It's called mm -hmm. a halo. Stand in the light. Spin around. You ain't got to go over there. 
Yeah. That one right here. Perfect. Turn around so you can see it. Ooh, that's a big, pretty halo. I love those. <laughs> and then she got a little baby hair going. Y'all know how that is. Yep. Okay, Queen Amy face. <laughs> All right, just want you guys to see the girls. Yep. Okay. That's it. Y'all finna get do y'all hygiene? Yeah. All right, guys, your girl is finally sitting down with her plate. This is what I have, guys. Okay. This is that. Spinach and she said I thought she said fetty. Spinach and fetty genie cheese. Some I don't know. Fetty cheese, maybe. Um, it has tomatoes in it as well. And I just got some chips. Look how skimpy my plate looks, guys. Mm-mm. Uh, I'm gonna be super hungry after this. I'm still gonna be hungry. I got me some honey garlic sauce. I'm gonna put on it. Got my water, guys. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so your girl finna sit here and my hair looks just, I don't like the way, I don't know. It was all right, but I don't know. I <laughs> just did whatever, guys. Okay, so thank you, Father. I pray this was not uh, bother my body in any way, upset it. And I thank you for this blessed food and pray for the less fortunate. Amen. I don't know if you guys can hear me. I'm going to still put it in my... Stick my mic on just to. Uh oh, sorry I'm making noise. I always do this. I'm always making noise with this thing. All right, guys. So that way you guys can hear me a little bit better. Um, this is not enough. Enough. I just warmed this up. So let me let you guys see. This is what it looks like inside. Okay, this is some spinach and tomatoes and. Some type of cheese. I guess that's some kind of fatty cheese or whatever. Um, I don't know. I guess it's fatty. <laughs> so that's what it looks like inside and along with some barbecue chips. Okay, so. I'm going to see what this tastes like. You guys want a bite? You know, you guys take a bite of that and see what that tastes like. You can check it out for yourself. Okay. Y'all took a big bite. Hmm. Well, let me see what it tastes like myself. What y'all think? <laughs> it's okay. I ain't too crazy about it, but it ain't bad. Whatever that is, I guess it's cheese, some type of cheese. It tastes seems like goat cheese or something, but I don't know. I can deal with it. I could have it again. Since it's spinach and tomatoes. But I like the other one better. The other um, tomato and basil sub. I like it better. She wasn't too sure about what what was in it. But this is what this is that I'm talking about. It tastes kind of plain, bland, or whatever. But I think it's supposed to be some type of cheese. And it has the spinach and tomatoes in it. So, I guess... It's okay. It tastes pretty. It tastes pretty okay. But I'll be definitely getting the tomato and basil more so. Okay. It's okay. All right, guys. That's gonna do it for this here vlog. It's kind of lengthy. Sorry about that. But um thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate all of you, all of our new subscribers. Once again, we are pescatarians. So if you're wondering how I'm eating, just you know, like this, that's why. And 
Love you guys so, so much. Thank you guys so, so much. Thank you for being over here. Couldn't enjoy this vlog without you guys watching and commenting and, you know, and liking and whatnot. So, thank you. And let everybody know what's going on over here on the Healthiest Queens Vlogs channel. Have so much more to come, guys. So many more um, things to share. You know how it is. So, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you will be notified whenever we do upload and that you won't miss an upload. Okay? So, um, y'all take healthy care. Stay fridge friendly. And until next time, you see your girl queen see me on your screen. I am signing out. And I love you guys too. Turn on post notifications so that you will be